In this video, we're going to be looking at how to find the surface area of a cone. Uh, to find the surface area of any figure, you just need to find the area of each of its individual surfaces and add them together. Uh, one of the surfaces of a cone is just a circle. So for the area of the circle, we would use pi times r squared. Now the other surface of the cone, take a look at this cone here, sort of an open cone, doesn't have that circular base on it. If we open that up, we're going to see that we've got a sector is the name of that shape. Now there's a previous post which talks about finding the area of a sector. Uh, in order to do that though, we would need to know this angle measure. It's something we could figure out, we could find. Uh, however, I want to take a look at a slightly different way of finding the area of a sector, and we'll use that then to find the area of a cone. I'm going to draw a large sector here. I know that that's a smaller central angle than the one that I have here, uh, but this method will still work regardless of the central angle. And even so, you can make a cone with a smaller central angle like that. It just happens to be a taller skinnier cone, actually looks a little bit more like uh, an ice cream cone would look. All right, so this particular sector, uh, to find the area of it, again, one way would be to use the central angle, and then with that central angle, we would do a fraction of the, the circle that this is cut out of. But we're going to look at a slightly different way. What we're going to do is we're going to think about this as being divided into smaller parts. Now, each of these smaller parts technically is still uh, a sector of a circle. However, the more I divide it up, the smaller I make these look, the more it starts to look like triangles. And uh, to the point where if I were to keep dividing this up, it's going to get so hard to tell whether or not we're looking at a triangle or a sector, uh, the smaller it gets. The, the base edge starts to look more and more like a segment. And with that in mind, we're going to use the area of a triangle formula for this. Now, uh, to do this, instead of needing to know the central angle and the radius, we still need to know the radius, but instead, our other piece of information that we're going to be using The other piece of information we'll be using is going to be this length. Okay. Now again, we're going to divide this up into smaller pieces. I'll just go for it for now. And we'll call our arc length uh, we'll just divide it up into B1, B2, B3, and B4. And our radius, uh, our radius is the same here, here, anywhere. The radius of any given circle is always congruent. Uh, let's focus on this uh, funky triangle here with B3. And I'll draw a radius in right here. Now what that radius actually is going to serve as is our height. And we know to find the area of a triangle we do one half of the base times the height. Well, again, the height of this particular sort of triangle is going to be r. So we'll change that to r, and we're again looking at this one with b3. So one half of b3 times the radius is going to be the area of this particular sector. And we'd have the same thing for B1, B2, B4, the ones that have those for the bases. So the area of the whole sector would be one half of B1 times the radius plus one half B2 times the radius plus one half B3 and finally one half B4 times the radius. All right, now, I just want to simplify this a little bit. 
all of them have a one half. All of them have the radius. So one half of the radius times B1 plus B2 plus B3 plus B4. And now B1 plus B2 plus B3 plus B4. That's that other measurement I talked about, arc length of that sector. So what we have, a way of finding the area of the sector, is to do one half of the radius, B1, times the arc length. Okay, so that would be a way of finding the area of that sector, one half of the radius times the arc length. Now what we're going to need is this new formula for area of a sector start looking at the sector formed by the cone. So here's our, our cone. Okay. We open it up and there's our sector. I draw just a little segment on here. around here. And that distance is the same as what we have here. So that is the circumference of the base. And the circumference of the base with a radius r is 2 pi r. So to find the area of that sector, we do one half of the arc length. The arc length is the circumference of the base of the cone times the radius of the cone, which is the slant height. I'm sorry, radius of the sector, which is the slant height of the cone. Now we can simplify this up a little bit. We have one half of two, which is just one, times pi times r times l. So all of that is end up with pi r l as the way of finding the area of this sector, which is the lateral area of the cone. So the lateral area of the cone is pi times r times l. The area of the circle is pi r squared. So to find the total surface area of the cone, the area of the base plus the lateral area, or pi r squared plus pi r l. And that is how you find the surface area. 